Good morning. I'm getting ready for my uh, for my practice this morning. This is what my trunk looks like. Um, I'm getting my bag ready, uh, my drinks, snacks. Um, I already had breakfast on the way here, which you can see coffee, lemon water. Uh, I had a toast. I didn't have a, a bar. I brought a banana as well. It's a little wet this morning. Um, but I think it should be fine. Good morning and happy Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Um, so I finished the tournament on Monday and I'm still pretty sore. Like my low back, my shin splints, I think because I've been playing. Anyways, I think because I've been practicing on clay and now I, um, I played the tournament on hard court, so my shin splints are hurting. Um, I had a little day off yesterday, and I realized how much is needed, you know, because I usually don't take it easy, but thankfully, because it rained yesterday, I was able to get some rest. Um, and this morning, I came at 7 a.m. to practice, but the courts were wet a little bit, so I'm just walking around and waiting for my practice to start. Um, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty confident from the tournament. I, you know, I think I played. I think I played well. There's there are a lot of positive things that I just need to keep building on. Um, I saw the girl that I lost to. She won in the finals like easy. And you know, just the fact that I had. You know, I had, I was really close to winning, but just physically I wasn't strong enough. But it's okay, you know, there's a lot of things I need to work on. That's why I'm here and let's take it one day at a time. Before I start hitting the ball, I make sure I come to practice early, at least 15 minutes early, sometimes 15 to 30, depends. Uh, and this um, this morning, I came 30 minutes early, and because it was raining, I had more time to warm up. So I made sure I did all of my dynamic stretches, as you can see here, which is mostly shuffle, high knees, butt kicks, karaoke, all of that stuff. And I'm going to link here a uh, warm-up video that I did a long time ago that was actually my first YouTube video, so you can check that out. Then, of course, I have my elastic band with me, so I take that always in my bag and I make sure I warm up my upper body as well because I had a shoulder surgery and forearm surgery so for me it's really important to take care of these little details and little warm-ups so I can prevent the injury. The first drill of the day was hitting in the doubles alley and trying to hit one forehand, one backhand, and work on the precision. So as you can see, I was in a group with other kids. Um, so the first basket drill that we did was hitting one forehand cross court, one forehand down the line, four balls, and then run a lap and a full basket like that. The next drill was mostly for footwork and we did four balls, one forehand cross court and then one forehand inside out. 
and then of course run a lap. On this one we worked on moving forward, so hitting three total forehands, one deep, one from the middle and one close, and trying to go through the ball and step into the ball and work on the acceleration. On this one we did also four forehands. One was somewhere from the middle and one was in inside out. So also for footwork and moving around the ball. Then I went on another court to play with another coach and the goal here was to do five sets of hitting 10 cross courts to him and then 11th ball goes down the line. But if you make a mistake in those first 10, then you have to start over. Then we went again in the basket drill where we did overheads to warm up for the serves. We did two overheads, one with the bounce and then one out of the air to work also on acceleration and just warming up the shoulder for the serve. Then we went into serving and here you can see I'm serving to another player. I had to make uh, five second serves to his back end and he would return the ball and I would have to prepare for the shot but not hit the shot. Then I did second serves to his forehand, then to the middle. So all three spots, he did then the same thing to me on the return. So we worked on serves and returns and that's how we ended up practice. Every time he puts a serve in, I execute the return that counts as one and vice versa. And we did both sides.
Thank you so much for watching and for supporting me on this journey. For more content, please follow Tennis with Emma on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.